Namaskaram. Here we are discussing CBSE Grade 10 Electricity. In the last class we learned Ohm's law and today we will study uh, electrical resistance of a conductor and the factors on which the resistance of a conductor depends. For that here we consider an electrical circuit consisting of a uh, battery, a key and a ammeter which is connected in series. Here XY is a, a gap. Then by combine the circuit uh, by connecting a nichrome wire in the gap um, XY, uh, then plug the key and note the ammeter reading. After uh, we replace the nichrome wire uh, by a 10 watt uh, nichrome wire by a 10 watt bulb, then also uh, plug the key and note the ammeter reading. After that, replacing the 10 watt uh, bulb with a torch bulb, uh, here it is a torch bulb, then also we note the reading of the ammeter. In each activity that we introduce a nichrome wire and a 10 watt bulb and a torch bulb, we can see that the ammeter reading is different. That is the current is different for each component we used. Like current or a component we use in the current is different. That is certain components offer the easy path of the flow of electric current while the others resist the flow. So, the components we use in nichrome wire and bulb, we use in the bulb, we use in the electric current is easy. Allow change into electric current flow in a easy at other allow change in the Pasha Chella components and then a rather game electric current allow change other electric current flow in our resist in and so I'm look and do a meter reading and a meter reading different on and then man slack and sadhi in the current in the flow chela component opposite in the matrix a component other easy at allow jay the bone and about current in the flow in a easy at allow jay in the ringle other than a other resistance of our area that is a low resistance that is a component that offers a low resistance is a good conductor. So, let good conductor are given, low resistance offer in a good conductor is given. That is the electricity complete at the allow chain under. That is a main cell component of high resistance offer you are under. That is the electricity flow in a resist in the nail. That is a poor conductor is not right. That is a poor conductor is not right. That is a poor conductor is not right. That is a poor and then conductors are not allowed the flow of electric current. But conductors are not low resistance, but insulators are high resistance. Next one, we check out the factors that affect the resistance of a conductor. And here we that consider a circuit diagram consisting of a uh, cell, um, a key and ammeter and there is a different components are connected here. Uh, first one is a nichrome wire of a particular length and thickness. Uh, second one is a same nichrome wire of uh, same thickness uh, but the length is doubled. Then third one is a same nichrome wire of same length but the thickness or area of cross section is more. Then fourth one is the same uh, length, same thickness but the material is different. That is a copper wire, fourth one is a copper wire. Hmm? Then first we introduce the first one that is a uh, first nichrome wire, uh, there is a particular length and thickness. Um, and then we note the ammeter ready. Then next we introduce the second um, nichrome wire, second nichrome wire means um, uh, thickness is same, thickness or area of cross section is same uh, but the length is uh, doubled. Then note the ammeter reading. We observe that the ammeter reading is decreased to one half. Is it ammeter reading decrease? Ammeter uh, that the current in the value or a coronu. Any other but a length the double I length the near the tene column near the under the tene column length the double I po in the sum bochu ammeter reading at a current in the value coronu. Man's lila. Then next third case that is a nichrome wire of same length but the thickness or area of cross section is more. Then not the ammeter reading. We observe that the ammeter reading is increases. That is uh, when we use the same nichrome wire of same length but the uh, area of cross section or the thickness is increased therefore the ammeter reading is increases. Then also then fourth case that is a um, uh, same thickness uh, same uh, length but the material is different. Here it is a copper wire used. used. Therefore the uh, ammeter reading is also changes. From these experiments we realize that that is there is a change in the ammeter reading. Ammeter reading is the current in the change of the current in the current in the current. First case that is a nichrome wire of particular length and uh, area of cross section this is a particular value of uh, current. Then uh, second one the same nichrome wire but the length is doubled. At that time the ammeter reading is decreased to half. First, under the value in a column, there is a pagadi at a meter reading a cornu. The length the double I peng in a meter reading current in the value in a pagadi. Then, third case the same length, but 
thickness or area of cross section is increased. Munaan the case le same length ana, but the thickness kuti thickness kuti same material ana. Appa endu samboju ammeter reading is increases. That is the current is increases. In the third case, that is the same material, same length, but the thickness or area of cross section is small. What happened at that time? Ah, that is the ammeter reading is increasing. Is it clear? Okay. So we know that the by Ohm's law that is V is equal to I R or um, R is equal to V by I or I is equal to V by R. Eh? Then first case uh, we get them. The first case we got the particular value of um, ammeter reading and the second case that is the length is double therefore ammeter reading is decreased. Length um, double is the ammeter reading is decreased. Ammeter reading is decreased. This relation is decreased. Ammeter reading that is current is decreased. Resistance is Resistance is decreased. Because resistance and current are inversely proportional to constant voltage. And the voltage and variation, potential difference and variation is Potential difference variation on the nila upon current length the coat in the sambo current increase at that time the value of resistance is high. Resistance and value is high. Upon e length resistance and number relation that is length increases. Length increase either po resistance and high eye. Upon length resistance directly proportional length resistance directly proportional. Clear ayo length resistance and directly proportional ayo. Then third case that is the same length, the same material, but the thickness is more. At that time, what happened to the current in the circuit? Current is also increasing. Le, apam thickness kudiya po langen endu sambojju current avada kudi. Le, thickness kudiya po current avada kudu vana chedu. Avada endu ana sambojju thickness kudiya. That is area of cross section kudi. Area of cross section kudiya po endu sambojju. Ah, area of cross section kudiya po. Current is very good. Then, what is the resistance? The current is very good. The resistance is very good. Then, we can say that the area of cross session increase. The area of cross session increase. The current is very good. The current is very good. The current is very good. The resistance is very good. Then, the resistance is very good. The current is very good. The current is very good. The resistance is very good. The area of cross session is very good. The resistance is inversely proportional. Area of cross section कोड़ी अपो resistance ऐंगे ने आने कॉर्न्यू मतलब नमला गंडो length increase ये दपो resistance कोड़ आने चाहिए नहीं ले रस length increase ये दपो resistance is high then area of cross section increase ये दपो resistance ऐंगे ने आना resistance अपड़ा low आय रही है clear आया लापन ये resistance उन area of cross section ऐंगे ने आना that is inversely proportion अपन नमक एडाम साधिक है that is resistance of a conductor is inversely proportional to the area of cross section नमक एडाम साधिक है लो resistance of a conductor is inversely proportional to area of cross section आप देंगे ना याना मंसल आया लो then yang ni yang anda nak kita, kita dua length kuri pun ada sambojuh resistance kuri, ada resistance yang length directly proportional lah. Therefore resistance of a conductor is directly proportional to the length. Ia length ini proportional lah, and also resistance of a conductor is inversely proportional to the area of cross section of the conductor. Paman sila lah, that is there is a relationship between the length and the resistance of a conductor and the area of cross section and the resistance of a conductor, and also there is a material. Nampol last in the fourth case, we have a different material. Then, we have to change the value of the current. The current value is changing the resistance of the value. Then, the resistance depends on the factors. That is length. The first factor is length. Then, the area of cross section. Another factor is the nature of the material. What material is the nature of the material? The nature of the material is the nature of the resistance. Clear right? Then we can combine to these two relations. Therefore, we can write it as resistance of a conductor is directly proportional to length and also inversely proportional to area of cross section. Therefore, R directly proportional to length and inversely proportional to area of cross section. Then we can write it as R that is equal to we change the proportionality sign into a constant. That constant is a this is a that constant. This is known as a resistivity. Resistivity, resistivity uh, rho into L by E A. Uh, this is a resistivity rho. Resistivity. This is a called a resistivity of the material of the conductor. This is R is equal to a constant. That constant is a resistivity rho. That is R is equal to rho into L by A. 
L by A. Then the resistance of a conductor is depends upon the length of the conductor and the area of cross section of the conductor and the uh, nature of the material. These are the main factors that affect the resistance of the conductor that is length, area and the nature of the material. Then another one of the main factors is the temperature. Temperature is also depends on the resistance of a conductor. It is the main factors that are the length, area of cross section and the nature of the material. Therefore, we can write it as re resistance R is equal to a constant rho into L by A. Rho is a constant that constant is known as the resistivity of the material of the conductor. This resistivity is a characteristic property of the material. We have resistance in the material. That is the characteristic property of the material. Uh, resistivity in the world. Then let us consider a conductor of length 1 meter um, and the area of cross section is 1 meter square. Therefore, the resistance become R is equal to rho into length is 1 and then area of cross section is also 1. Therefore, uh, resistance of a conductor is um, R is equal to resistivity of the material of the conductor. The, that is resistivity of a substance is the resistance when uh, length of the conductor is 1 meter and the area of cross section of the conductor is 1 meter square. Therefore, the resistivity is the resistance of the conductor. The resistivity, resistance are conductor and resistance not equal on the unit length, the unit area of cross section resistivity becomes equal to the resistance of a conductor. Then what is the unit of this constant resistivity? We can find it out. From this equation, uh, we write it as uh, rho is equal to rho matra out of the equation change we can write it as uh, a r divided by l. Rho is equal to from this equation rho is equal to a r uh, divided by L. That is, therefore, uh, A is the area of cross section, the unit of um, area that is uh, meter square, and then R is the resistance, unit of resistance is uh, ohm, then length uh, that is uh, meter, therefore, and here it is 1 meter, there is also here, uh, therefore, resistivity rho is equal to ohm meter. This is a unit of resistivity, ohm meter, ohm meter is a unit of resistivity. And the value of resistivity is different for different materials. So, for example, uh, for metals or alloys, its value is um, low value, low resistivity that is order of 10 raise to uh, minus 82, 10 raise to minus 6 ohm meter. Also, that is a good conductor. So, we have metals or alloys. So, uh, good conductors are not metals or alloys. Are good conductors are not. So, the resistivity is not low value. At the same time, insulators are not. The glass or rubber, rubber or materials are not. And the um, resistivity is not low value. The resistivity and resistance in the value of temperature and such vary. Then there is a table in the textbook. We can see that there is a uh, values of resistivity is different for different materials. Um, here, this is silver is uh, silver is a good conductor of electricity. Therefore, the resistivity is 1.6 into 10 raise to minus 80 ohm meter. This is a low resistivity value. Uh, but the alloy is like a nichrome. The value is 100 into 10 raise to minus. Um, uh, six others. Also from the table we can see that the resistivity of an alloy is generally higher than that of its constituent metals. That is the resistivity of alloy is greater that is uh, nichrome 100 into 10 raise to minus 6 value. Uh, that is a nichrome uh, do not oxidize um, uh, readily at high temperature. High temperature uh, 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 high resistivity all under the pattern the burn chay the pone in the oxidize the pone on the other non nichrome okay, namala, electric heating devices look okay, heating coil at to be Electric heater under law. Electric heater lock on the beginning the nichrom coil on a nichrom in the coil on a garnum other to buy the nickel and red hot condition maintain chee or menum at the polar than other oxidize the power and partilla burn chee the power and partilla. At the polar high resistivity of la material sana satharne at electric heating devices lock of beginning. Then that is the resistance and the resistivity of a conductor. There is the resistance of a conductor depends on the length of the conductor. A area of cross section of the conductor and the nature of the material. Therefore, the resistance R is equal to a constant rho into L by A, where rho is a constant, that constant is known as the resistivity of the material of the conductor. That resistivity is equal to um, resistant when uh, the conductor having unit length and a unit area of cross section. Uh, then the unit of resistivity is ohm meter, unit of resistivity is ohm meter. Hope you understood today's class that is the resistance and resistivity of a conductor. If you like the class, please uh, press the like button and share to your friends also. Then give your opinion as a comments. Okay, thank you.